Finally, let's return to the most high-profile casualty of the police commissioner elections, the campaign of Labour's former Deputy Prime Minister, John Prescott, to take control of policing in Humberside, ended in failure, beaten in a runoff against the Conservative challenger, Matthew Grove. Here's our political correspondent, Michael Quick. The signs were there as his jag pulled up late morning. John Prescott was in one of his moods. You're not looking very happy. Choice, happy choice. When I see you. Never. I'm only asking how confident I am. No need to put you on. No, no, he knows you don't know. I don't know. I've got my best case for We'll see what it is. You're going to make the last. Prescott, John, 7,374. In the first three of the four Humberside districts to declare, Prescott piled up the votes, followed by an independent, the former policeman Paul Davison, ahead of the Tory, Matthew Grove. But with votes in East Riding, Grove squeezed in to the final runoff by a few hundred. Then in the second round, and the redistribution of people's second preferences, the Conservative beat John Prescott by a margin of well over 2,000. And I do hereby declare that the said Matthew Grove, uh, the Conservative Party candidate, is duly elected as the Police and Crime Commissioner for the Youngside area. And Grove paid generous tribute to Prescott. And a very worthy opponent. I've enjoyed his company, and it's with slight sadness that I. I feel like beating him, and um, in some ways, you know, he's given such a long and dedicated service to, to this area. Um, it's a shame that I had to beat him, but it had to be done. A grim day for Lord Prescott, his first defeat in a public election since he fought Southport in 1966. Do you think you would have won with a, uh, another more popular candidate? You are a bit of a Marmite candidate. Some people like you and all the people don't. That's an original question, isn't it? What's the answer? Well, you give me a chance to give an answer. It's typically you again. Listen. 30,000 majority, I reduce it down to 2,000. That seems to me a very creditable result. I would have liked to win. We said at the beginning, this is a Tory marginal seat. It's not a safe Labour seat. It's not even a Labour seat. Now, if it had been another candidate, I stood for election. There were other candidates, and I was chosen. I'd like to think I could have won. I don't know whether I'm a mama. I lead the people to actually answer that, but 50% of the vote almost, that's pretty good. Away from Humberside, one might call this Independence Day. So far, at least eight independents have been elected PCCs in Dorset, Kent, North Wales, Gloucestershire, West Mercia, Warwickshire, Gwent and in Hampshire, where the former Conservative Minister Michael Mates failed to secure election after much controversy and some in his party arguing publicly he shouldn't be their candidate. Now, to a degree, the voters were saying they didn't think that these new police commissioner elections should involve party politics. But remember, an independent has also been elected as the new mayor of Bristol. This is a very significant day, I think, in the development of British politics. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Bridlington.